Back in 2007, one of our URIT members was frustrated. And he was frustrated because he was on the board of the Strain Capital, and he was trying to get the Strain Capital Performing Arts Center to program alternative music in the Capitol Theater. And he kept running into roadblocks. He, 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 from an institutional standpoint, he wasn't getting the cooperation that it would have taken to make it happen. Uh, so he took things into his own hands, and he persuaded the Strand Capital uh, to allow him to experiment with an alternative music series where he would book the acts, and he would take the risk of success or failure. And he persuaded some local businesses to sponsor that, uh, that program. That became what we now know as Cap Live. Australian Capitals Alternative Music Series. And Capital Live kicked off on September 26, 2008 with a performance by Boots and Hellmouth. Well, tonight we celebrate the 23rd Cap Live show with the return of Boots and Hellmouth to Cap Live. And Sean Kenny has booked every one of those shows. <laughs> Sean, can you come up here? Sean has maintained the Cap Live website. He's written all those emails you get if you're on the Cap Live mailing list. He's been at the theater to greet every one of those bands when they pulled into town, sometimes late. He's fronted their meal money. He's helped haul their gear. And he's introduced every one of those shows from the stage in his uh, typical dry, understated style and his really, really swanky uh, cowboy shirt here. <laughs> and now, because of Sean's vision, the straight capital under the leadership of Ken Wessler has embraced Cap Live, and, he's, and they've made it their own. They're now taking the financial risk, and they're putting their administrative, financial, and marketing uh, efforts behind it. Sean didn't take no for an answer, and thanks to that, Cap Live is here to stay. Sean's a great example of the next generation of leaders in York. It would have been easy for him to shut up and just you know, keep driving to Philly or Baltimore to hear great alternative music. It would have been easy for him to assume that he didn't have access to the people who could make it happen. But Sean believed in his vision, and just as importantly, he believed in York. He believed that Yorkers would support what he had been trying to do for the good of his community and for the good of the Strain Capital Performing Arts Center. So to honor Sean tonight, we have a special gift, courtesy of Joel Menchie at Menchie Music. Uh, Joel is one of the people that Sean persuaded to his vision, and, and Joel also helped make Capital Live a reality. Uh, Sean, for you, we have a guitar signed by Sean Hoots and his bandmates in Hoots and Hell Mouth. And they're here tonight to honor you in a really special way. Yeah, you want to see? 
Of course I want to say something. <laughs> well, I have to say you have to wake up pretty early in the morning to get one over on me. And when the email came out about this, and then I kind of had an idea of what was going on. But having these guys come out and play one for me is really special because I love these guys. And since they've come around, we've had over 5,000 people through the Cap Live series, so it's been really, uh, really special. And uh, you know, I worked for the Chamber of Commerce for about five years, and one of the things that always irked me was. When you talk about York, everybody always says, oh, we're only an hour from here, we're only two hours from here. You know, we gotta be proud of ourselves. And that's one thing I'm really proud of. I live right down the road. I really believe in places like this, places like the Capitol. So, you know, make sure you surround yourself with uh, people you believe in that have people like Eric and Joel and a number of people in this room that believe in me. It really means a lot to have a girl at home that believes in me too. <laughs> You know, one thing, when I, when I started uh, getting involved in your the one thing I wanted to do was not fund studies because, you know, studies are great, but, you know, when you're gone, nobody remembers what you talked about. They wouldn't remember what you did, so remember that. Do what you can.